GM's 2.7-liter L3B engine is a modern turbocharged four-cylinder introduced in 2018 for the 2019 Silverado and Sierra 1500. Rather than simply iterating on existing V6 or V8 units, GM designed it as a clean sheet engine to deliver strong torque, better fuel efficiency, and lower mass in a compact package for light duty trucks. It replaced older mid tier V6s like the 3.6 liter LGX and LGZ, along with the 4.3 liter LV3, which, while durable, carried compromises in weight, packaging, and thermal efficiency. The L3B is cast in parts at Bedford Casting Operations in Indiana and assembled at the Spring Hill Manufacturing Plant in Tennessee. This engine is 2.7 liter in displacement, configured as an inline or with four cylinders in a straight line. It also happens to be the largest displacement gasoline four-cylinder currently in production, and to achieve that size GM gave it a very long stroke of 4.05 inches, which explains why the L3B delivers massive torque as low as 1,500 RPM. It uses direct injection, force-fed by a single dual-volute turbocharger with electronic wastegate control. Its valve train is dual overhead billet steel camshaft, with four valves per cylinder, 16 valves in total. It integrates variable valve timing, sliding cam lift profiles, and cylinder deactivation for efficiency. The block is cast aluminum with iron liners spun in for strength. These liners are centrifugally cast ductile iron, fused into the aluminum structure, which not only adds durability, but also improves thermal stability under high boost and pressure, while the head is also cast aluminum with the exhaust manifold built directly into it. What made the L3B stand out was not just its downsizing, but the technology it carried. The most attention-grabbing feature is the sliding cam valve lift system, which provides three distinct intake lift profiles, high, low, and deactivated, through electromagnetic cam control. This allows the engine to breathe differently depending on demand, favoring efficiency under light load and unleashing power when called upon. Unlike the old V8 active fuel management system that shut down entire cylinders by collapsing lifters, the L3B design is far more refined. Instead of disabling combustion by cutting spark and fuel, the sliding cam mechanism actually keeps the valves closed in a controlled and stable manner, preventing the airflow imbalance and oil pressure problems that plagued earlier V8 deactivation setups. Because the valve train hardware is mechanically locked in the desired profile and electronically commanded with precision, it avoids the lifter collapse failures that became notorious on GM's older V8s. In practice, this means smoother transitions, fewer moving parts under stress, and much less risk of long-term wear, making it a more durable and less troublesome evolution of cylinder deactivation. Working alongside it is continuously variable valve timing on both intake and exhaust sides. The L3B also debuted GM's active or ECU-controlled thermal management system, with an electrically driven water pump and a three-way rotary valve that direct coolant only where needed, warming the engine faster and controlling temperatures more precisely. Add to that a continuously variable oil pump, which adjusts output to match demand, cutting parasitic losses while safeguarding lubrication. The turbocharging system deserves its own spotlight, a Borg Warner dual-volute turbocharger with an electronically actuated wastegate. Unlike conventional twin-scroll designs, its concentric exhaust passages channel pulses more efficiently into the turbine, improving low-end response and sustaining torque at higher RPM. The turbo is fed by an integrated exhaust manifold cast directly into the aluminum cylinder head, which shortens the path for exhaust gases, improving throttle response and thermal efficiency, while also helping the engine reach operating temperature faster. It employs a forged steel crankshaft and forged connecting rods, both designed to withstand the high cylinder pressures created by turbocharging in a truck application. The pistons are robust as well, designed with direct injection-specific crowns to optimize combustion. A 10 mm offset crankshaft reduces piston side loading, lowering internal friction, and extending where life under heavy-duty cycles. And because a large displacement inline for inherently creates secondary vibrations, GM equipped the L3B with a dual balance shaft system, making it smoother than one might expect from such a big four-cylinder. The fuel system is equally advanced, operating at pressures up to 3000 PSI for direct injection. This high pressure delivery results in finer atomization, cleaner combustion, and more torque available at low RPM. 
Combined with the dual volute turbo, it's what gives the engine its diesel-like torque curve while still keeping fuel efficiency in check. When it launched in 2019, the base Silverado and Sierra application quoted 310 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 348 pound-feet of torque starting as low as 1,500 RPM. It was paired with GM's 8-speed automatic transmission and was rated in certain configurations to tow up to 9,500 pounds in a two-wheel drive cab configuration. In 2022, engineers introduced a revised version that stiffened the cylinder block by adding ribbing, strengthened the crankshaft, upgraded piston ring materials, and re-optimized calibration. With those changes, torque capability was officially bumped to 430 pound-feet albeit at a higher 3,000 RPM point, while maintaining 310 horsepower. That permitted slightly more aggressive towing maps and better performance under load. GM also began offering a Turbomax branding for some revisions, denoting the higher torque calibration. In non-truck applications, Cadillac used a detuned L3B in the CT4 with about 310 horsepower and roughly 350 pound-feet of torque, and a higher output version in the CT4V with 325 horsepower and around 380 pound-feet. In 2023, the Colorado and Canyon began receiving versions of the L3B, or related tuning, detuned to about 237 horsepower and about 259 pound-feet in baseline form, reflecting adaptation for a lighter mid-sized truck duty. The high output version that is standard in ZR2 increases boost pressure and retunes fueling and cam control to approach or hit the 430 pound-feet torque figure. Some trucks were not originally built with the high output option, but have been retrofitted or upgraded in software. This variant relies on the reinforced internals introduced in 2022, making it the more stress-tolerant version of the L3B. In the tuning and aftermarket world, the L3B is gradually gaining attention. The most common modification is ECU tuning via piggyback modules like the JB4, which reportedly can yield gains of up to 85 wheel horsepower and 120 wheel torque on a stock truck by adjusting boost, fueling, and ignition timing. There are also cold air intakes, upgraded charge pipes, and downpipes used by enthusiasts to improve flow and reduce restrictions. Some tuning houses offer custom calibration that adjust torque limits, cam timing, boost pressure, and air fuel ratio. However, because the L3B is relatively new and already highly optimized, the tuning margin is more limited compared to older simpler engines. From day one the L3B showed the kind of real-world wrinkles that matter to truck buyers. In January 2024, GM issued an emissions recall for certain 2023 model year trucks to replace or reprogram fuel injectors after engineers found incorrect injector flow rates affecting emissions and drivability. Roughly 232 vehicles were involved in that campaign, an extremely small number, and the issue was resolved. A month later, in February 2024, GM opened a customer satisfaction program after a few 2023 engines were discovered with a casting defect in the block's main oil gallery. Dealers were instructed to replace affected engines, and GM extended coverage for the condition through March 2026. The number of confirmed vehicles was tiny, just over a dozen, but the fix was a complete engine replacement where a crack was found. At the same time, owner reports and dealer records have revealed patterns of problems such as oil leaks, carbon buildup, occasional turbocharger or high-pressure fuel system faults, lifter or valve train complaints linked to the cylinder deactivation system, and high-pressure fuel pump issues. It's worth noting this engine is relatively young, only about eight years old as of now, GM's decision to extend warranty coverage on the L3B in 2024 shows the company is confident in its long-term durability.